Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be trying out a bunch of new products from Made by Mitchell. I'm so excited for this one, so let's get straight into it. So we're now all zoomed in and ready to go. I'm just going to clip my hair out of the way. The only product in this video which isn't a new release is his toner. And when he brought out his skincare collection, I bought his moisturiser, his eye cream and his cleansing balm. But I physically couldn't afford to buy everything. However, on TikTok at the moment, you can get his skincare products for only £8, which is such a bargain. So I had to pick up his toner. So this is the Watch Your Tone Skin Prep Toner. I love this. If you look at the packaging, it's very similar to the packaging of the moisturiser, which is here. I just like how it's a little bit more colourful on there. So this one is 130ml, which is the same amount as you get in the moisturiser. I've used this so much, and I still have so much left, so I think it's really good for that. This one is actually a spray toner. I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever tried a spray toner before. I've had like more milk ones, I've had ones that I use on cotton pads, things like that, but I've never tried a spray toner. So let's give it a quick go. Ooh, that is like a really, really fine mist. I really like that. What's that smell of? That actually smells really nice, so I don't really know what it smells of. It smells quite fresh and I really like it. Okay, it just applies to my face. Do you know what? That feels so refreshing. That feels really nice. Okay, looks quite hydrating. Yeah, it feels hydrating. It doesn't feel drying. That's one thing that I don't really like with toners. If I'm doing multiple makeup looks in the day and then doing a few skincare routines in a day, use the same toner over and over again. It can get really, really drying on my skin and really, really harsh. But I quite like that. It's going to be kind of a natural glow. Yeah, so far I like it, but it will have to be a few weeks that I test this out for to actually know if I like the product, if I don't like it. But first impressions, it's quite nice. So the next product I've got to try is actually the bronzing stick. So I'm going to jump off camera for a minute, do my primer, foundation, concealer, and then come back and try that one. Now I've got my foundation and my concealer, and I put a little bit of powder under my eyes just to help them from creasing. Now I'm going to try the bronzer. So this is the Blush Balm Bronze in the shade Cream Carve. So I went for this shade because it's my ultimate favourite one from the Curve Case. It's the one that I use all of the time. It's actually getting a bit low now and I just don't want it to run out. So it's the same as this one here. As you can tell, I've used this so much. So I thought it'd be the perfect shade for this. So this is what the actual stick looks like. I've not tried this before. That looks so nice. I've tried this in the form of a blush, but I haven't tried the bronzer form. I'm just going to warm this up on the back of my hand and start to get this product moving. Look at that, that looks so nice. Okay, I know it can seem like a bit of a waste of product. I always used to think like warming products up is just such a waste, but then when you actually use the product, it just looks so much better and just works so much better for your skin. So, let's start to apply this. Apply a little bit up here. Oh, I felt that might be a little bit too much. Wow, that feels really creamy. Tiny bit down the side of my nose. And then some on either side of my forehead. This is how it's looking. I'm going to blend it in, but I feel like I've applied way too much here. So I'm going to have to share it out a little bit. I'm going to use my Real Techniques 002 brush. I use this every single time I do my bronzer. Oh wow, that's not, that's not that bad. Blend it out a bit, and that... That should be quite nice, but that formula is incredible. Oh my god, look at how easily that's blending. That formula is absolutely insane. It's literally like butter. It just reminds me of the cream carve in the curve case, but like a stick version. That's really, really nice. Really like that. Yeah, that's a full 10 out of 10 for me. Sometimes I don't really like stick products because they can just like pull your makeup off underneath, it can be really harsh on your skin. But that felt really nice, it went on straight away really easily. Probably because we did warm up at the back of my hand first. But look at that. That looks so nice. I'm going to use some of that from the back of my hand. Just apply a little bit more on my forehead and blend that out. Feeling very, very pale at the moment. I'm going to a lodge soon. And I'm going to go in the hot tub so I don't want to tan before that. So, I'm going for more of the natural vibes at the moment, but I'm obsessed. Like, I had to kind of stop looking at that there. I think it looks so nice. 
Okay, yeah, that is a full 10 out of 10 for me. Cannot believe we found such a good product there. I'm so blown away by that. But now we're going to move on to the Comet case, which I got this before it came out. And I've still not got around to trying it because I was saving it for this video and then more things kept coming out. I kept getting more things and thinking, oh, I'll film it soon, I'll film it soon. And I'm literally just getting around to filming it. But this looks insane. Like I said before, the Maple Mitchell Curve Case is my ultimate Maple Mitchell favourite product. Mm, it might not be now we've tried that new bronzer, but up till now it was. They brought out a highlight version of this and I am so excited to try it. So I've not even looked at this yet. This is what the packaging looks like. So pretty. We open it up. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So we've got eight different shades in here. I think that these are going to be like my favourites. These are a little bit more deep, but I'm definitely still going to try them and use them. So we've got Copper Cool, Penny from Heaven. We've got Champagne Spray. We've got Ice Ice Baby. Then we've got Fairy Kitten, Candy Trip. Pink Lynx and Wonder. So these are all stunning shades, absolutely stunning. So the one that I would normally use if I use a Made by Mitchell highlight is Champagne Spray. I have raved about this so many times. But I've also heard people say Penny from Heaven is amazing. Going to give them a little swatch. So this is the, ooh, can you see there? That is so creamy. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this like here. Cause I'm running out of space. I had some powder up here, some bronzer there, some liner there. I don't think you can see that well on camera, but it is really pretty. It's really nice, natural kind of shimmer. But I really want to try Ice Ice Baby. I think that looks stunning. That is this shade here. I think it looks so pretty. But I also really want to try Penny from Heaven. I'm going to go in that one next and see what that's like. Ooh, that one looks really pretty. Okay, I've got that there. Again, I don't know how well you can see it on camera. It's so annoying. But that's what that one looks like. I'm going to quickly look at the Ice Ice one. Okay, that's really nice as well. Ah, oh, we choose. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try one of these as a blush. I'm gonna mix these two, I think. So this is Pink Links and Candy Chip. I'm gonna mix the two of these together for a bit of a blush. Then I think afterwards, I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna use Penny From Heaven as the highlight, but I think we might not need much highlight because I think these have got like some shimmer in. So I think they'll probably be quite like naturally highlighted themselves. I can't find my current favourite blush brush, which is really, really annoying me. But I'm going to go in with this one, which is the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. I'm just tapping into the two shades there. They're quite a buildable kind of formula from how they feel, but we're going to see what they look like on the face. Okay, that's definitely very sheer. Let's just apply some using my finger, I think. And then we'll blend it out because I feel like you do need your hand to kind of like warm it up a bit. But I'll be honest, that isn't as pigmented as I expected it to be. Like I thought it was going to be a lot brighter than that. So I'm actually more fond of it compared to what I was expecting. Do you know what? I think that is, that is more of a highlight. It does have a tint of blush in it, but it definitely is more of a highlight. When I saw the palette, I was really excited, but... I thought that the darker shades weren't really going to work for me because they are more, very intense, look a lot more pigmented than I would normally go for for a highlighter. I thought that I wouldn't really use these top two or these two here. I thought these four I probably would, but the rest I probably wouldn't use. But now I'm actually trying them out. They're really not that intense. I like them. I think you can build them up a little bit, which I'm trying to do on this side and see if you can build up that blush. They've got a really, really nice glow to them. Yeah, so as you can see there, we can build that blush up, which is really nice. So if you want to use it as more as a blush, you can. If you'd rather just use it as a nice little bit of shimmer, you can. I thought these would look really, really nice on the inner corner of the eye. Or if it is an eyeshadow chopper as well, I think that would be really, really pretty. Yeah, I really like that. That's such a pretty palette. Shall we use just a little bit of highlight on my nose? I'm going to take this shade here, which is Fairy Kitten. I actually have the original of this in the blush, and it's such a pretty shade. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Very, very pretty. So yeah, I definitely would recommend that. Does it beat my original Curve Case? No. 
Is it stunning? Would I use it again? 100%. So next we have some eyeshadows. These have been released a little bit now, but I couldn't afford them when they first came out. Then they came down in their £8 sale, the same as the toner, so I bought myself two palettes. So when these palettes were released, they came out in four different colours. They had the grey, blue, green and pink, I believe. I went for the grey and blue. I think they are so stunning. Love the packaging of this. Ooh, we've got a big plane going by. So this is the first one, which is Blue Your Mind. This is what the palette looks like. It reminds me of the Blush Pressed palettes. Very similar shape. I don't know why, but I prefer this for an eyeshadow palette. But for the Blush Pressed, I wasn't a massive fan. I was like, it just felt too clunky, weird shaped. But as an eyeshadow palette, I think it's absolutely stunning. I love this shade, this colour. So this is what it looks like when we open it up. We've got a mirror inside and we've got four stunning shades. One shimmer, three mattes. Then we'll have a look at the grayscale one. I think I'll probably do a bit of both. So we get to try them both out. I don't know why, but I'm really into like grayscale makeup at the moment. I think it's so pretty. With like a little pop of colour as well. I think it's absolutely stunning. So I was going to film this video two days ago. How do I get into this box? Oh, it's at the side. So I was going to film this video about two days ago. Then I found out who's bringing out some liners. So I had to get my hands on them. So I'm going to try those after this. This is the grey one. Very, very classy. When we open it up, get rid of that. Same again, mirror in there. And then these are the shades. They are so, so pretty. I love that you've got a black in there. You've got a grey kind of white. It's not a full white, but it is a grey white. You've got a grey and this really, really pretty shimmer. So I'm really excited to get started. I think I might go. I'm kind of like, do I go towards more of the grey scale and then add a pop of colour in there? Or do I just go like full blue? Just quickly primed my eyes using my concealer. I'm gonna go in with this blue shade here because it just looks so pretty. I'll be completely honest, I have absolutely no plan of where this makeup looks gonna go. Just have an experiment and just play it by ear. Let's get rid of the protector off this mirror so I can actually see. Just gonna start through my crease. Wow. That is pigmented. That is so pigmented. I've tried Made by Mitchell's eyeshadow before. I was impressed, but this is another level. That is, that is pigment. That is really pigmented. I'm just applying it through my crease. And then I'm actually gonna grab, I think I might grab a clean brush to blend it out with, otherwise it's gonna end up absolutely everywhere because that is so pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna grab a clean brush. I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take this one here, which is just a naked brush. And I'm just going to start to blend this on the edges. See how blendable the formula is. Okay, so it is starting to blend quite nicely. I think I'm going to go into like a darker blue for my outer corner. I'm not sure if we're going to use the grey palette today or not because I am just blown away by this. And I want to stay on that kind of like blue scale. This is quite blended. I'm going to leave it like that for now. And I'm going to go in with, I'm going to take this one here, which is like a purpley blue. I think it's really pretty. I'm just going to take the same brush, the Icon not Iconic, sorry, the Naked one. I'm going to start to tap this into my corner and blend it into that blue. It's a lot more purple than I thought it was going to be, but it's still really pretty. Tapping that into the purple, blending it in and kind of bringing it up a little bit. Start doing the same thing at this side because we want too much. This is so pretty. Just had to switch out this decad in my camera because somehow I filled another one. But I'm now just going in with that blue and just topping up that colour because I really want to do a cut crease. But want to make sure that we've got enough colour to still see the product after we've done the cut crease. And I'm just taking my P. Louise Cut Carver on a brush and we're just going to cut my crease. So basically I'm just going to remove the products where we don't want it to be. I apologise if the light keeps changing. The sun today cannot make up its mind. One minute it is just so bright, next minute it goes behind a big cloud. So it keeps going quite dark in here. So I'm just removing that product where we don't want it to be. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a cotton bud wherever I've put mine. I'm literally just going to remove that excess product from where we've just applied that cut carver. This is now how it looks and I've removed all of that cut carver. Going in with a flat brush and some concealer. I'm just filling in that gap. I'm going to try and like make a bit of an outline first so I can see where I'm applying it. And then filling it in. I'm doing the same thing on this eye. This is now how it's looking now I've applied that cut crease. I am loving it. I think it looks so nice with that blue. Now I'm going to look at the eyeliners. So I think you released seven in total, but I could be wrong there. I picked three up. It might be like eight or something. I had so many pretty shades. I went for the green, which I believe is called Seafoam. Yeah, green and Seafoam. The blue, which is called wave after wave then the final one i got is buttermilk which is the yellow i think these are all so pretty i think i'm gonna go for the blue today because i feel like it's really gonna go with this makeup look so let's just do a quick swatch of each when they arrived earlier on today did a swatch of the green one i could not believe how fast it dried like it did not budge i was so surprised so i'm really excited to see what this is like Kind of makes me a little bit nervous as well because if I make a mistake, it's not going to budge. I have to take it off. Let's just try to get this out of the packaging. This is what it looks like. Absolutely stunning packaging. I love it. It's blown it out of the pack again. Really, really thin pen. We just do a line on my hand. That's what it looks like. It's very, very pretty. You can see the shine on it. It's a very, very pretty colour. We'll just look at the other ones. So we've also got the green, which is the Seafoam one. This one from the Swatches Online was my ultimate favourite. I thought it was so pretty. Let's do this. It's the green. Absolutely stunning. You know what? I'm half tempted to do the green today because I think it go really, really nice with the blue and then the final one we've got is the yellow this i really really like there was this one and a brown one that i thought would be quite good like between the yellow and the brown would be quite good for being like a universal one because normally i go for like a silvery or like a nudie one but they didn't really have one it was the brown or the yellow and i personally thought the yellow looked quite goldy and would be a better one for being more universal with different eyeshadow looks so that's why i went for this one that's what this one looks like let's have a swatch Oh, that does look really pretty on the pen. Let's have a look on my hand. Oh, that is really nice. That is the goldy one. That is really, really pretty. Yeah, that would go with so many different looks. I'm kind of stuck between... I'm kind of stuck between all three of them, if I'm honest. I feel like any of them would really go well with this look. What shall I go for? So I think that I'm going to go in with the yellow. I'm tempted to do the blue in like the outer corner, but I'm definitely going to use the yellow for like the inner corner. I think it is just so pretty. And it's just so bright. So I'm going to do that one first and try it out. I'm not the best with like liner and stuff. I don't really have a steady hand, but I'm still going to try. That is so pretty. I'm not going to lie. It's not the steadiest. But it is really, really pretty. I think we definitely went for the right colour. Is that on this side? It is absolutely stunning though. It's such a pretty colour. I'm really hoping you can see it well on camera because it's so pretty. But it's a really nice subtle glitter in it. Okay, I'll be honest, it has dyed the end of the tip a little bit with that blue and the green which i thought it probably would but that's absolutely fine it is what it is these things happen i'm gonna go in with a little bit of the blue just in the outer corner I just think that'd look really pretty just a little bit i'm not gonna lie i kind of regret that now <laughs> let's just try to blend it in a little bit yeah, I'd probably be better off not doing that, but it's fine. I'm still going to do the other side. Probably should have just left it with the yellow. 
But you know what? I think that blue is actually so pretty. I get so bright, so pigmented. It's really nice. All of them seem really, really nice. Where's the lid gone? Why am I this person that puts something down? There's no clue to put it. Oh, there is. I think they're both really, really nice. I'm going to go in with a little bit of that dark shade again just to go into my lid. It just kind of like pull the look together. I think it'd look really, really nice. I'm just going to grab, I'm going to grab this brush here from P. Louise, which is the E23 brush, quite a nice precise one. I'm just going to pack some of that colour onto the brush and onto the outer corner of my lid there. And I'm just going to gently so that blend it in. I do apologise if you can hear. I think that's my neighbours mowing the lawn, I'm not sure. But it's quite annoying that it started after we started filming, so I can't really, you know, stop and film later. I do have another video to film after this as well, so it's so frustrating. I'm really hoping you can't hear it on camera. Same on this side there. And then I'm going to grab a kind of nudie eyeshadow and blend it like back into where we've just blended that purple, so it makes it a bit more seamless. So this is now the final look. I'm so impressed by everything we tried today. I think my favourite thing definitely has to be that bronzer stick. It was absolutely stunning, but I was really impressed with the eyeshadow palette, with the liners. Like, I think we had a really good video today. I really enjoyed what we tried. Let me know in the comments what you think of this, any other products you'd like me to try, things like that, any videos you want to see from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!